picture this. You're going into college, maybe just out of high school, or maybe you're starting back from where you left off. You go to the financial aid department after you've been through admissions and you signed up, and they tell you to fill out a financial aid form. Well, then come to find out you can't go to college because of the cost of tuition. Do you wish college tuition could be lowered? College, like so many other things in the world today, has gone up. There are so many opportunities out there that you could get for college to help pay, but you have to go through all of these requirements and it's hard to meet. For example, if you're 20, if you're not 24, or you don't have a kid yet, or you're not married, you still qualify as a dependent for financial aid, no matter if you live on your own or you have no communication with your parents, you still have to go through your parents to get your financial aid. For those who do fully support themselves, have no contact with their parents, no longer live with their parents, this could become an issue. If your parents make too much money, you might not qualify for aid, which if you're on your own, chances are you don't make that much money and you can, you would benefit having the tuition on you. The Discover Bank on April 5th, 2023, on their website under their college planning tab states that, so again, with your parents making too much money, this could make it, so again, with your parents making too much money, you take the risk of either not getting financial aid at all or getting a lower amount of financial aid than what you need to cover it. Let's go back to if you have no communication with your parents. For FAFSA, one of those requirements is you have to have your parents' tax information. If you don't talk to your parents, you most likely do not have their tax information. And if you don't have their tax information, then you cannot fully fill out a financial aid form and that might disqualify you from receiving financial aid or having to pay for tuition completely out of pocket. Perhaps you are looking into being a practical nurse for the state of North Carolina. So if you go onto Isothermal Community College's website and you go to their tuition tab and you calculate your payments for that full term of becoming a practical nurse for in-state you are looking at about six thousand five hundred and five dollars for the entire program if you move to a different state though say perhaps south carolina to north carolina you now have to show in-state residency to get that in-state tuition and if you are showing that residency, most colleges require a year to two years for that residency status to kick in. That leaves you as an out of state on your tuition, which doubles the cost. Staff writers who works for Best Colleges wrote on April 19, 2023, that out of state residents paid twice as much than in-state residents in tuition. Another option that could be considered is scholarships. But here's the problem with scholarships. In order to retain a scholarship, you have to meet more requirements. You must be an in-state resident for some, so if you're out of state, that scholarship's not an option. You have to have a certain GPA, certain grades, or you can potentially retain one through the financial aid site, but it's hard to come by those as well. Now there is one more option, and that is student loans. In order to qualify for student loans through the financial aid site, you have to have a certain amount of tuition that you pay, you have to make a certain amount of money, you have to have a certain credit score. It's like getting a loan on a car or a house. Loans do not always cover the full amount either. You might end up with $5,000 in loans, 
for the term, but still have to pay 150 out of pocket each month. It just depends on how much the loans cover for the tuition. And not all colleges do payment plans on the out of pocket part. So you might end up having to pay a large amount of money in the thousands of dollars before you can even start that term. The financial aid department though is not the only ones that offer loans. You can get a private loan through someone like Sally Mae, but that once again ties in with your credit score. If your credit score is not good, you're most likely not gonna get the loan. Now, if you've went through all of these options and you find you're still not able to pay for college, it can really discourage you to want to continue that education knowing that none of it's going to be covered. And as we stated earlier, like everything else in the world, college tuition has gone up. Adding a monthly payment for college on top of having kids, on top of having you know, to work full time and not making a good hourly rate, all sorts of life factors tie into that. And sometimes it is impossible to add another payment into your daily lives. So I ask again, do you wish college tuition could be lowered? Do you think more people would go to college if that was the case?